In the early hours of April 2nd in Karnataka, an Indian Air Force Chinook helicopter took off on a mission that has never been attempted. The chopper was carrying India's first RLV, short for Reusable Launch Vehicle, to conduct a precise, high-speed, unmanned landing. The Chinook flew to an altitude of 4.5 kilometers, shattering records for carrying a winged body to such a height. By 7.40 a.m., ISRO and other Indian tech agencies achieved a huge milestone for India's space sector when the RLV touched down completing all of its parameters. With its low cost, sustainable space exploration will be possible. SpaceX now has a rival. Rewind back to 2014, when the New York Times was forced to apologize for a racist cartoon it published, mocking India's Mars orbit mission, Mangalyaan believing that the space club belonged to an elite group which India still had to work to get into. Fast forward to 2023. Times have changed and the Western press has been proved wrong, again. Thanks to tireless efforts of the Indian Space Research Organization and other Indian agencies that have also made a mark, India has not just fine-tuned its space missions and has enhanced the payload capacity of its rockets, but has efficiently developed a space program that has outperformed its rivals in terms of tech and competence and has compelled space players world over to look to India for assistance. This is yet another example to never underestimate Indian scientists or the new political dispensation at the center, which has the resolve and the ability to get things done, come what may. space story began in the little-known fishing hamlet, Tumba, in India's southern state of Kerala in the 1960s. From space launches and operations to inventing technologies to developing commercial satellite launch facilities, the velocity of the Indian space journey has been exponential and second to none. The Indian space program has developed powerful and comprehensive standard operating procedures from launch to landing. India's Space Exploration Agency, ISRO, which dominates the Indian space industry, has led successful milestones for the country, as well as other countries, by launching their satellites. Recently, ISRO's launch vehicle Mark III successfully placed 36 satellites of OneWeb, an Indian-owned UK-based company, completing the first-generation Low Earth Orbit constellation. Let me take this opportunity to thank once again the entire ISRO community uh, for their uh, work towards making this rocket one of the best in this class. And it actually increased the confidence on us on this rocket, GSLV Mark III, for taking up the uh, Gaganyan, which is going to be flying on this rocket as well. More recently, ISRO's reusable launch vehicle, RLV, successfully landed bringing India closer to the dream of its own space plane and sustainable space exploration. The technique adopted to launch the vehicle was first in the world. A winged body was carried by a helicopter to an altitude of 4.5 kilometers and released for an autonomous landing on the runway. ISRO successfully demonstrated its innovative and cost-effective technologies which have made it part of an elite space club. India, with the support of ISRO, has emerged as a leader in third-party launch services. India has earned a massive revenue of 279 million USD till now by launching satellites for 34 countries by ISRO. India's space industry's role has been instrumental in developing several application areas including weather forecasting, navigation, oceanographic studies, disaster management, and agriculture. Experts say that this Indian step will soon prove to be a game-changer. The opening of the space economy to private participation in all phases of activities has ushered in an era of growth, innovation, 
and accelerated investment in the sector. We scripted history today by successfully launching India's first privately developed rocket, Vikram Yes. <laughs> Team Skyru dedicates this successful mission to Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, who boldly started the Indian space program in the 1960s, and Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, who unlocked the space sector to the private players. With this reform, the government has enabled non-government entities, NGEs, to run independent space activities, opened up ISRO's infrastructure and facilities for private companies, and inspired young talent to come up with innovations. So, our approach is on four pillars. First, the private sector इनोवेशन की आजादी दूसरा सरकार की एनेबलर के रूप में भूमिका तीसरा भविष्य के लिए युवाओं को तैयार करना और चौथा स्पेस सेक्टर को सामान्य मानवी की प्रगति के संसाधन के रूप में देखना इन लाइन विद इंडिया सेल्फ रिलायंट इनिशिएटिव India will soon be launching its first ever at Manirbar human flight, Kaganyaan. The objective of the project is to take a three-man crew into orbit for five to seven days and bring them back to Earth safely. India allocated 137 billion to the Department of Space in 2022 to 2023 for the smooth running of all of its missions. As per a report by the Indian Space Association and Ernst & Young, the satellite manufacturing sector is expected to grow from 2.1 billion in 2020 to 3.2 billion in 2025, while launch services will grow from 567.4 million in 2020 to 1 billion in 2025. For the broader interest of people all over the world, India has forged space project collaborations with the United Nations, BRICS nations, as well as with Israel, NASA, and the European space. India's breakthrough technological work has resulted in success for India's space sector. Government initiatives and reforms are on track to be game changers for India's space sector, further expediting the industry's growth. India created history by becoming the first country to enter the orbit of the Red Planet in its first attempt. The pioneering mission, Mangalyaan, was the most economical mission ever to Mars. Its budget was about 75 million, which cost only 11% of NASA's Mars Atmosphere and Volatile Evolution mission, MAVEN. The Indian space spirit is determined and limitless. Experts say the day is not far when India's lunar exploration mission will be a success. <laughs>